Let's take a look at the inside of a circuit breaker. At the top, we have the incoming terminal for the line connection, while the lower terminal is where the load is connected. Close the switch and the contacts conduct. During the circuit on, off, and contact action, a large current, known as an electric arc, is generated. This is the arc extinguisher used to extinguish the arc. Once the contacts conduct, the current flows through a flexible link to the battery coil, which then is directed to another flexible link, then to a bimetallic strip. The bimetallic strip is connected to the outgoing terminal, which further links to the load. The circuit breaker offers overload and short circuit protection. When a short circuit occurs, a high current is generated. The current flows through the iron piece, triggering it to move downward, engaging a mechanism that trips the switch, thus disconnecting the circuit and providing protection. Overload protection is facilitated by a bimetallic strip. When the circuit breaker is closed and the load draws excessive current, the bimetallic strip undergoes thermal expansion, bending and triggering a mechanism that trips the switch and separates the contacts, thus interrupting the circuit.